Hi, I'm Andy from Cisco. This video is an introduction for those who want to configure VLANs on the Cisco 200 or 300 series managed switches. Virtual Local Area Networks, or VLANs, can be created to separate your physical LAN traffic into multiple virtual partitions. This is useful if you want to move a computer to a different physical location and still remain on the same VLAN. First, Log in to the Web Configuration Utility, and then choose VLAN Management, VLAN Settings. In the VLAN Settings page, click the Add button. In the resulting window, you have two ways to create a VLAN. You can either create a single VLAN by clicking on the VLAN Radio button, or you can create a range of VLANs by clicking on the Range Radio button. If you create a single VLAN, enter the VLAN ID and name for the VLAN. You may also specify here if you want to enable the VLAN's interface state. Note that the interface state will remain down until a physical device is connected to the port the VLAN is assigned to. Check the Enable checkbox under Link Status SNMP Traps if you want to generate SNMP traps whenever the port link status has been changed. Click Apply to save your configuration. If you want to add additional VLANs, click on the Add button to add more VLANs. If you wish to create a range of VLANs, enter the starting range for your VLAN ID and the upper range in the text field to the right. Click Apply to save your configuration. Once you have finished creating your VLANs, it is recommended to go to the Copy Save Configuration page to save your running configuration to the startup configuration so your changes will be saved upon next reboot. Now, you will need to assign the ports you wish to the appropriate VLAN. On the Web Configuration Utility, choose VLAN Management, Port to VLAN. On the Port to VLAN page, locate the first drop-down menu next to the VLAN ID equals to field and choose your appropriate VLAN. Locate the next drop-down menu to the right next to the Interface Type equals to field and choose either Port or Lag. For reference, a port is a physical entity that is used for connections on the series switches, and Link Aggregation, or Lag, is a method of using two Ethernet ports in parallel to provide trunking and network fault tolerance. Click Go, and then click on the drop-down menu for the desired membership for each port. Pairing a membership type with an interface often depends on your network configuration. For more information on what each membership type does and when they can be paired with an interface, refer to our article. Click Apply to save the settings for the chosen VLAN and interface type. To configure additional port to VLANs, Navigate to the two drop down list at the top and click Go for every desired VLAN ID and membership type. To permanently save your configuration, go to the Copy Save Configuration page and make sure your running configuration is saved to the startup configuration so your changes will be saved upon reboot. That concludes our tutorial. I hope this video helped you, and please don't hesitate to visit our support community. Here you can find additional support in a thriving community of global users and experts, and it's free. I'm Andy from Cisco, and thanks for watching.